All right, let's talk about installing a rear seal. So we're gonna do it on this DT-466. It's an older engine, but the, the technique used to install this seal is quite common across different manufacturers' platforms. So it starts with a guide right here. And so we install the guide and the guide also has some dowels that act as the fastener to hold the guide into place. And so this guide plate is actually for the wear sleeve to ensure that the wear sleeve sits right on the crankshaft as it's supposed to. So of course we've cleaned the crankshaft with some Scotch-Brite, haven't removed any material, but taken off any contamination, rust, uh, oil sludge, anything like that. We've removed any contaminants. And so now what we have is a guide here and the center bolt is used to pull the rear seal into place. Of course, we would use the rear seal then, we would install the seal with the speed sleeve in its place. And I'm gonna skip this because the student demo is actually happening or they're gonna do this this afternoon, but I'm simply gonna show the tool setup. So the seal would go on at this point and then we would use this installer here would sit on the guide studs and be able to push that seal into place. And so not only will it push it into place, it will also set the correct depth. So inside of here are stepped flanges. And so this installer will not just install the seal, it'll also set the correct depth of the sleeve as well as the correct depth of the seal itself in the flywheel housing. And so you would simply install the seal, rest it there, push it into place. And of course that's gonna take some effort and to actually turn it into place we would use the driving nut that's included right here. All right, so I grabbed the seal, and what we can see with this seal is it's a two-piece seal and it has a wear sleeve in here. So really important, check your manufacturer's service procedure, whether this seal is to be installed dry, and if it is, then it would be good to get a cloth damp with some brake clean, wipe out the seal so it is dry, if they want a mounting compound on it, then ensure that you put a thin film of the mounting compound on. Ensure that when you install this seal, the tin ring is facing out towards you. In other words, the lip of the lip seal is facing the engine oil. If I installed it this way, that would be backwards. So install it the correct way, that's quite helpful. So this install tool, holds and supports the seal in alignment with the crankshaft. So now it's going to be installed centered. This pressing tool has a step that sits on the sleeve, the wear sleeve, and a face that sits on the seal surface. And so what you can do is actually install this tool and it'll start to press on that seal. Now, we don't want to install it with a hammer just by impacting it in. Instead, what we'll use is we will use the pressing nut that is included in the tool and simply turn this down until the seal installer bottoms out on the aligning tool. When that happens, then we know the sleeve is installed and the seal is installed to the correct depth. 